Hello everybody, this is Cyric 1983 and this is just a, I guess, I could probably file it under a tutorial video. Um, <clears throat> it's with, with regards to, I know a few uh, uh, LPers, uh, I think H.C. Bailey does it as well, I'm not sure, uh, so don't hold me to that. I do know that Togoff does it, and it has to do with the fact that, well, Togoff is like me. He's a he, he's a quality Nazi. <laughs> he he likes to make sure his uploads are the highest quality possible when he uploads them and views them on YouTube. And uh, yeah, and the one thing that I I guess from you know actually doing research on uh, you know doing my own like experiments with YouTube and all that kind of stuff, I found that there's actually a limit as to. Uh, the bit rates in which you know the YouTube displays the videos. So if it's like a 480p video, it'll it, it'll always display a, a maximum of like a, a certain bit rate for video and audio, um, or at least it tries to the the uh, the codec or the processing to, tries to focus on one uh, one bit rate and you know focus the the quality of the video on that. So that's basically why when I switched uh, in my Final Fantasy X LP, where I switched from uh, uh, you know um, encoding the 480p videos from 2 megabits per second to 1 megabits per second is because you don't see any difference when you go onto YouTube and watch it there. Um, and the reason for that is because of what I'm about to show you. Um, I actually went on YouTube, uh, or not on YouTube, on, uh, on, the, on Google or whatever, and I tried to find a some sort of reference point with regards to the different bit rates of like the different... Uh, um, I guess quality levels, if you will, the the resolutions of YouTube, uh, and I found one. It, this is obviously not very authentic, but they have, uh, uh, I guess, uh, their own examples of videos that they've uploaded and all that kind of stuff, like bit rates that uh, that have uh, turned up and all that kind of stuff, like streaming bit ra bit rates streamed back at a uh, at their bit rates. Anyway, so here first, it's the you've got charts here as well. So yeah, every like this is this is uh, 1080p. Yeah, this is obviously 1080p, 720, 480, 480p, uh, 360, and then 240. And these are all I guess uh, maybe uh, like from like cell phones and all that kind of stuff. Like when you try to upload for, uh, via your cell phone. Um, so yeah, this is basically what the the videos are encoded as. Uh, with uh, between you know, they usually go for 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. I usually try to always upload with 30 frames per second, so that's mine. So yeah, the uh, the formats here don't really apply anymore just because they've uh, they, they've upgraded the uh, I guess the viewer, if you will, on YouTube to uh, automatically do that. I guess. But yeah, then also there's the, there's the audio codex where you got AAC 44.1 kilohertz. That's just usually the uh, the normal uh, sample rate of any MP3 really, and then it shows you the container is also mp4 obviously that's h264 everything from 360p up to 1080p is all done uh, with the h264 codec uh, for the sake of you know preserving quality um, now we come down here where you see different uh, hopefully you can see the uh, the uh, ad ad the address in the uh, uh, location bar there but uh, yeah so you got the Dark Knight trailer uh, the third trailer I guess you will is 1080p uh, let's see uh, yeah it's two and a half minutes long H.264 six channel 48,000 48 kilohertz uh, AC audio 24 frames per second and YouTube encoded it as 30 frames per second now this is the original here so the, in other words they uploaded the original with 10 10.5 I'd say I'd say you know 10 megabits per second and it's 1920 by 816, so it's uh, you know very it's ultra widescreen. And then the uh, the audio was, I'd probably say around you know, maybe they were shooting for make uh, maybe 256k uh, for the uh, you know the audio. Um, now when it, they played it back on YouTube, the 1080p or, or whatever it is, you know still the same size, but look at the bit rate. It's only about 3.5 megabits per second. Now the reason why I bring this up is because I know uh, Togoff tends to you know, he tries to max out the bit rate on the videos that he uploads. Um, and I've I think I've sent him a message uh, previously saying you know it's really overkill. You don't need to you know spend that much time uploading, regardless of your internet connection, because the uh, the uh, it just makes sense to me that the more processing that YouTube has to do to your video, 
uh, the longer it'll take for it to, you know, become available online uh, to view, for your, for your viewers to view. And that's basically why I'm doing this, is because I figure, well, if you put the, you know, the video bit rates and the audio bit rates as close to possible, uh, as close as possible to what YouTube tries to convert it to, uh, the quicker you'll be able to see your videos online. So yeah, 1080p, well, at, well, at 1920 by 816, it's about 3.5 uh, megabits per second. And then you go down to uh, 720p, which is what I usually upload as, and it's usually it's around 2 megabits per second, and the audio stays around the same. The audio, I it usually stays... Uh, up here, it usually uh, you know aims for I guess about 128 kilobits per second, and then uh, 35. What was 35? You know, yeah, that was the 480p widescreen. But uh, uh, I guess they didn't. Uh, the, the I guess maybe the the upload failed or whatever. But still, that's irrelevant. Re really irrelevant, I guess. But yeah, then you come down to uh, you know the the. Uh, um, uh, the 272 here, and it's, it's down. Like this is would probably qualify as 240p and then you know it, it, it shoots for about a half you know five five twelve uh, kilobits per second for the video and probably around um, 96 kilobits per second for the audio uh, so yeah you, you can see it's got that and then you come down here you got the avatar trailer again 1080p and this is just basically just to compare the bit rates really and obviously they uploaded it with uh, 10 megabits megabits per second again and I guess they'd probably try to aim for like 128 uh, kilobits per second with that now when it finally got posted on YouTube the 1080p version it dropped down to 3.5 megabits per second again and then the audio was around 128 so you can see a little bit of a trend building here so basically anybody that tries to upload any video that is more than 3.5 megabits per second and the audio is more than 128 bits per second you're wasting your time uh, because it, it's just quality that will not transfer over and uh, and then you come down to 720p as well and again it's 2 megabits per second and again 128 uh, this is and then you yeah basically just goes down like that now this one is the one I I, uh, I prefer to use because it's the the actual 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio so 1080p is 1080p and it's yeah so it's uh, just a I guess a video the original was around 12 megabits per second and the upload I guess the audio was probably maybe a variable uh, 190 192 or something like that but uh, when it you after YouTube finished processing it it was 1080p with 3.5 megabits per second again and then 128 kilobits per second for the audio so all I'm trying to uh, say with this video is that if you LP if you upload videos of like gameplay or uh, you know well LPs um, keep this in mind um, I've actually got a, a a text chart here just uh, for future reference for me. I've got it in the same uh, the same directory that I usually uh, you know save all my LPs to. So yeah, just basically reminders here, and then just basically just aim for all these. This is what I aim for in terms of my LPs. So anything 720p that I upload, it'll, it's two megabits per second with 100 kilobit, 28 kilobits per second for audio. Uh, it's MP3 audio, so. That's what I use. So yeah, basically yeah. So 1080p is 3.5 megabits per second by 128. Uh, 720p is 2 megabits per second by 128, and 480p is 1 megabit per second, which is, explains why the quality drop was not no, not noticeable uh, between the uh, I guess 2 megabits per second I was uploading of the Final Fantasy 10 LP and the 1 megabits per second. So like I said, it was only my own experiments that confirmed that. I, my own experiments that made me realize that, and then this, I guess, just confirms it. Uh, and this also explains why uh, uh, why I'm a little upset about the the quality of, uh, uh, I think, the Suikoden 3 intro video. I, I uploaded it uh, with this. Actually, I uploaded 8, 848 by 480 because uh, 854 is not divisible by 16, and when you're encoding by H.264, it has to be divisible by 16. Anyway, so yeah, 1 megabit per second with 128 kilobits per, per Per, uh, second for the audio but yeah just obviously it starts to drop off a bit here this is probably around 112 that they shoot for but uh, I just keep it at 128 just because <laughs> it, it, audio does not take up a lot of room on it when it comes to videos um, so yeah, you can see you can see the trends like uh, 3 360p uh, is around half half a kilobit per second and so is that uh, 240p so just keep this in mind and then they obviously come down here and it gives you approximate bit rate targets that they try to make for the uh, the the end result if you will the end processing result and he says 3.75 I, I just like I said I just focus on here because this this 
this cre actually created a question for me, but uh, I just figured to uh, keep it simple. Uh, you know, 3.5 megabits per second for uh, 1080p for video, I should be good. And 2 megabits per second, which is what I upload with right now, uh, we'll keep that. Um, <clears throat> and it also explains why uh, when I uploaded the intro for Final Fantasy 13, uh, the first time I uploaded it was, you know, the 480p. Uh, widescreen and I encoded it at like 9 megabits per second or something like that or 6 or something like that some crazy number that I'd never done before and it event and by the time YouTube was done processing it uh, it was horrible it looked horrible to me I'll put it that way and then I said you know what I you know try to upscale to 720 because I know that uh, I had a hunch that YouTube probably you know let a little more quality go through when it's 720p you know an HD uh, uh, class, if you will. So I figured, eh, is if I upscale it to that, then it'll look normal. Uh, as you know, if you were to full screen this, uh, and you full screen this, like you'd be able to see the full quality of the uh, the video there. But again, that was still uh, even then. I uh, cranked the hell out of the uh, the bit the video bit rate, and I mean, yeah, I was happy with it, but it, it was only streaming at two megabits per second. So really, again, it's all about uh, you know. Uh, optimizing your your video for the sake of YouTube uh, so you can you know get as much quality as possible without having to waste so much time in in uh, uh, encoding and then uploading as well so keep that in mind um, and I guess that's is that all I wanted to say yeah it's because it, it's just this is just something that I uh, I thought I would point out because it's I'm sure I'm sure uh, Togov HC Bailey and me most notably have uh, fallen for in terms of YouTube and that there, there are limits that they allow uh, that they have on the videos that they post so I figured well there's no point in um, trying to go over that if it's just going to be dropped back down again because it, yeah, it just it, it leads to obscene file sizes and uh, obscene upload times so well, especially in my case so I don't know what the upload uh, speeds for HC Bailey or Togoff are but uh, they're probably better than mine that's for sure but uh, yeah just uh, you know it, it, it makes the whole recording of an LP much more smooth I guess, I guess. so uh, yeah anyway so yeah uh, keep make note of this uh, link maybe I'll just yeah maybe I'll just post it in the video description just in case you can't see it you should be able to because th there's nothing moving on here so it'd be a pretty small vi uh, file anyway but uh, but uh, high quality so yeah I'll post this link in the video description along with this so you can take a look at it yourself and uh, yeah so uh, if you if you are an LPR it might be worth uh, taking to heart and testing it out on a you know just test it out like on a, a two-minute video of your own or whatever they can record uh, test a you know record like a bit uh, two minutes of an LP or something like that and then uh, upload it at uh, different at uh, your normal bit rates and then upload it at the uh, the optimal bit rate and see if there's any difference in the end result so uh, yeah and obviously if uh, you do see a very noticeable difference and uh, let me know and I'll uh, be sure to make note of it uh, because like I said this this information is not um, authentic however it does fit with any with every other uh, you know it fits with regards to you know how I've experienced YouTube uh, uh, myself so anyway so yeah that's basically all I wanted to go over with you about and I guess uh, yeah so this is Cyric 1983 signing off thank you for watching and I hope this helped you and have a good one